I'm Mark Jennings reporting from New York City. It is a busy night here in Soho at the Crosby Street Hotel as VIP guests and celebrities show up to help celebrate Antigua and Barbuda's double-digit growth in tourism. The Antigua and Barbuda Tourism Authority is highlighting the many new properties and resorts recently announced. It is also shining a light on the growing film and television industry. Making tonight special is honoree Marianne Jean-Baptiste. You've got an island of people who are very proud of their heritage and very welcoming. This Academy Award nominee and star of NBC's Blindspot is here because of her contribution to the arts and to be named Honorary Tourism Ambassador. On behalf of the government and the people of Antigua Barbuda, the Department of Tourism, and all of the citizens of Antigua Barbuda, mm -hmm. to express our thanks again and appreciation for you as an ambassador of Antigua. And this is but a small token of our appreciation for all that you have done. Thank you. Thank you. Great, great, great honor that I take very seriously. We'll be talking, Mr. James, about film in Antigua and how we can best facilitate that feeding the island and training young people there to, to work in the industry. As much as I embrace being British um, and that being my culture, I'm Antiguan and there's no, there's no getting away from that. Several dignitaries were in attendance. They shared with us why the evening was so important for Antigua and Barbuda. I'm extremely proud of my country. I'm extremely proud of the staff in the offices that, which I manage. I'm extremely proud of the work that the tourism department is doing. So I feel it's very necessary, important, both to fly the flag for my country and to support the staff that is working so very hard to keep made the major industry of our country on top. And I'm particularly excited about our 60th anniversary of Carnival that's coming up this summer. The new things that are happening, the new hotels and the new advances that Antigua is making makes me particularly proud and I want to continue to share. Antigua and Barbuda has a very modern airport and was recently voted as the second best airport in the Caribbean region. We are very proud of it because we believe that it has added great value to the product that we're offering our visitors. Why was tonight so important? Tonight was very important to Antigua and Barbuda. It was magical because we wanted to show all of our partners and all of our visitors, those who have visited us before and those who potentially could come to Antigua and Barbuda, that there is vibrancy, there is traditions, there, is, there are musical um, icons within the country, the games we play, just a feel of who we are in Antigua and Barbuda, that when you visit us, it is an amazing experience. Thus far this year, we've been happy to say that we've been seeing double-digit growth, averaging 20% month on month, year over year, from our US visitor arrivals to Antigua and Barbuda. And you deserve a round of applause. There's been many upgrades to our existing properties. There have been new properties have been announced. Uh, Robert De Niro will be um, shortly starting ground for the Paradise Found project, which is 250 million US dollar project in the island of Barbuda. And so we are ensuring that we have put everything in place from the moment you step off of that aircraft into the jet bridge to have a first class positive visitor experience so that you can have a great time in Antigua. More importantly, go back and tell your friends, tell your colleagues, and so that more people can come and see and experience what we have to offer. More information can be found at AntiguaBarbudaBuzz.com and visit AntiguaBarbuda.com. I'm Mark Jennings reporting from New York City for Antigua and Barbuda.